Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I uploaded a video. Today I'm gonna take a ride to Hartebeespoort uh, Dam. I'm starting here in Pretoria East. Here on the right in front of us is the Austin Roberts Bird Sanctuary. So there's also a bit of hiking route. There's a very beautiful restaurant inside, the Blue Crane. You can come and uh, eat, drink coffee. So we're still having winter here in the southern hemisphere. I was missing riding and making videos. I'm going to make an effort to try and uh, improve the sound so you can actually hear me properly. Uh, yeah, from here we're slowly going to get out of uh, the city. Uh, today I'm uh, going about uh, 60 kilometers to the west, riding to between the Magalisberg Mountains to uh, Hartebeespoort Dam. The hill in front of us is called Klapperkop. Used to be a military fort on top of there. Well, the fort is still there, but it's uh, more of a museum area at the moment. It was uh, used during the Anglo Boer War to defend the capital city against the British forces. So, this area here it's called Groenkloof. That building to the right there it's called uh, UNISA, the University of South Africa. And now uh, this circle here in front, this is a very big uh, connection point here on the west side of Pretoria. This is called the uh, Fountains Circle. But here you can come into the city from the airport, enter into the city center of Pretoria. And then this uh, behind the fence on the left, called the Groenkloof Nature Reserve. It's also a uh, protected area, nature reserve. Where there is some uh, wild animals, some uh, walking trails, you can also come with your mountain bike here. We've got very big uh, play parks for kids. I also used to come here as a kid with my parents. I had some birthday parties here. Always a lot of fun. Yes, actually, this is the entrance to the Groenkloof Nature Reserve, Fountains Valley. Uh, this is one of the famous monuments of Pretoria, called the Voortrekker Monument. It was built to commemorate the Voortrekkers who died in the w war between the Voortrekkers and the Zulus in 1838. It's also surrounded with a nature reserve, so you can also find some uh, antelopes, wild animals uh, in the nature reserve around here. So yeah, yeah, we're getting to the hard piece for dumb area. I just quickly, quickly took this uh, Pelendaba highway. So up there on the left, you can see the Pelendaba research facility. Okay, cool, yeah, and this is on the British Durham Road. Going to hard piece for dam. Yeah, to the left is uh, Nexa, South Africa nuclear energy facility. Very nice, beautiful area to be riding in. I love this time of the year, just after the winter, when it's starting to warm up a little bit. All the grass, all the leaves, it's just this beautiful yellow color. It's quite unique. And in a few months, the whole place will transform into greenery again. In August, September, it should start raining again. Come December and January, this area will be completely green. It was nice day at the joint. 
420 friendly. Uh, we're gonna just take a little ride around the heart of this poor dam. We're gonna take a ride over the bridge as well that goes over the dam through the tunnel. There we go. Uh, here we're gonna cross the heart of poor dam. Quite a few very beautiful holiday houses uh, around the dam. They specifically ask not to stop here on the bridge. Uh, here to the left uh, or to the west, you can go to Machalesburg. It's also a small town in uh, nestled in between the mountains. Uh, there we can see the dam again. Oh, oranges and avocados. It's now the season for oranges and avocados. That's what those ladies are selling next to the road. Beautiful mountain ranges here. I'm sure I've said it in uh, some of my previous videos, but uh, these mountain ranges here, it's also part of the Machalisburg mountain range. So this uh, mountain range ranges for about 160 kilometers from Kalinen up to Rustenburg. So this little pass that we went over, it's called the Kumandu Neck. You still see very beautiful parts of the Machalisburgs. They're on our right. So yeah, I'm gonna go a little bit to the Chameleon Village to show you what is happening at the Chameleon Village also. As you can see, there's so much to do around this area. It's very much uh, for people to come and enjoy over the weekend. But there is quite a few uh, markets around here and restaurants, flea markets. And here on our left is uh, Chameleon Village which is also a uh, famous craft market. There's also a nice restaurant here. But mostly it's about the craft market. Ugly Duckling and then the crafters market. It's a very beautiful place to come and stop over with your family or with some friends and if you want to do a little bit of craft shopping get some typical African crafts Chameleon Village is a nice place to come and buy your African crafts and then here we also have Restaurante Pemba it's a typical Mozambican restaurant with a little bit of Portuguese feel so you can get some uh, Portuguese Mix, uh, Mozambican meals at the Chameleon Village. They are quite like peri peri chicken. African market. Then there's another uh, Indian restaurant, curry restaurant, Taj Halal, up there. Some more crafts here on the left, as you can see. It's very touristic. They're hoping that uh, the local people would stop over and buy some of their crafts, handmade crafts very beautiful now here we are coming to the 
Hard to be a sport, damn bridge. There's another restaurant here on our right called the Bry House. That's a good idea. Hard to be a sport, damn Bry House. But this, uh, this is one of the famous places where people come to for the day. People who like to get out of the car and walk onto the bridge. They don't recommend to stop on the bridge anymore. Okay, so here we're gonna cross the uh, Artebispoor Dam, which is full of hyacinth at the moment. This is green stuff that's growing on the water. Unfortunately, all the rubbish is also blowing onto the hyacinth. Not looking very healthy. A beautiful waterfall down there. And this river, the Henops River, feeding some of the farms downstairs or down river. So we're gonna go, go through the tunnel. The tunnel is like an orchestra, you have to rave your engine. Ah, so it's still part of the dam here on the right. You can see a little bit through the bushes. And people still do come and do uh, some boating. Probably also a little bit of fishing. I think mostly boating and drinking. By the town center is also quite a few restaurants. The Barbados Bar and Grill is quite a famous one. And there's also P Pizza Republica, Route 511 Bar, and here on our right is the Hartebeest Purdam Zoo and Snack Park. The zoo is also quite old. It's been here for a very long time. I've even come here as a kid as well. Yeah, I think I will go to the cable way. Yeah, ball. Thank you. Yeah, so this is the Artebis Purdam cable car center. We can come and book uh, to go up with the cable car. I have been uh, to the top once before, but actually just from the other side. On the other side there's uh, Zilkart Snack Nature Reserve. Where you can do a hike actually of about four or five kilometers to the top. And then there's even a restaurant at the top of the cable car. Yeah, so of course from the top you get the most beautiful view of the whole dam, the Magalisberg. I can really recommend you to also go and do a, a hike up to the Magalisberg, the Zilkart's neck, if you are uh, into hiking at all. There's anything to do here, you can come and do your paintball or do a spa. I uh, guess something really to do for the whole family. So uh, yeah, you heard me talking about uh, Zilkats, uh, Zilkats Neck, which is uh, just uh, behind here. 
that neck uh, is actually the gap between the two mountains. Uh, Zilkats is uh, actually a short name for Mzilikatsi. And uh, Mzilikatsi was the brother of Shaka Zulu. I don't know if you've ever heard of Shaka Zulu, but he was the king of the Zulus during the 1800s, which he also fought some wars against the British and against the Dutch farmers called the Voortrekkers, who was living in South Africa at the time. Oh, this area was inhabited in the 1800s by uh, mostly people who speak Tswana. Uh, it's also mostly uh, our neighboring country, Botswana. It's also their uh, national language. Uh, it's also one of the national languages of South Africa. But, uh, so Mzilikazi, which was Shaka Zulu's brother, he also came here in this area uh, with a whole army and started fighting with the indigenous Tswana people here. So not having very good relations until the Dutch farmers also came here and they also helped uh, with the Tswana people to defeat Nzilikazi. But that's the reason why this uh, neck that I'm going to drive over now, it's called Zilkat's neck. Oh, here we're gonna come out at the other side of Zilkat's neck, straight into the sun. Also, just here on the left, uh, Zilkat's neck nature reserve entrance, where you can uh, go and book to do the walk up to the Zilkat's neck, where you can also get to the top of the cable car. I'm going to take the way over the Horn's Neck, which I also quite like to ride through. It's usually not so busy. And it's some very nice uh, mountain passes. So yeah, we will come to the end of this video. Thank you for joining me on this ride to the Hard to Bespoor Dam. I hope you also enjoyed the video. Please uh, subscribe to my channel to be notified of uh, more videos coming soon. And uh, also, if you like this video, please give me a like. Thank you very much, and uh, see you next time.